Hey T-Bags, what's going on? And today's gonna be a different video, a tech kind of video, because why not? We're gonna probably be going outside and testing the tech that I've got. Not really tech, it's more like accessories for the Osmo Pocket 3, DJI Osmo Pocket 3. This camera is one of the best cameras that I've ever used. Obviously, you've got a lot of action cameras out there recently, and this is not really an action camera. It's more of a vlogging type of camera what can do other features. But today I'm gonna to show you some accessories that you should pick up that if you do own this camera, you should get because I don't know, I don't think they're not like crazy accessories, but they'll help you in your long run. And I'm gonna show you them right now. So first we have from Sunny Life. I seem to like from Sunny Life, you get loads of these accessories like they're just plastic kind of helpful accessories, which is like this one here, if you can kind of see it. It's like a bracket kind of that you put you around your Osmo Pocket 3, which is this. And then it's got like a mounting system at the back. I don't know if you guys can see that. And yeah, you just put it around it. You can still have your expense, ex expansion uh, battery thing. So all you have to do is literally put it on like that. It's gonna be hard to do it like this, but you know, put it on like that wrap it around and then just click it in and then pull it back done and then you've got like an expansion packet at the back so you can you know mount it with something and it just goes like that i've still got the uh battery expander thing extension thing you know and i've still got the tripod as well so yeah that that is one of the things right there you could probably pick it up uh, for like 20 to 15 pound on Amazon. Yeah, Sunny Life. These are pretty good. I would recommend getting one of these. Like, trust me, trust me. If you want to like connect it to your, you know, chest or something or any other mounts, you know, like action kind of cameras where you want to mount it somewhere. You want to do a first person uh, view point. You can, if you want to do it on a car, if you don't want to do it on somewhere, then this is a good one to get. I do have another one that is by Sunny Life as well, but it's it's same as this, but instead it's got a magnet at the back. And also if you unclip it here, you can have it like that and other things. So this is another one as well, if you wanna mount it as well. Um, same way to install it as well. The, I said as well like 50 times now. Uh, by Sunny Life. Check Sunny Life up. They've got many different accessories for different stuff. So these two I would pick up definitely because um, of the same thing. If you like magnet, more better to So when you're out, you just want to do this. And then, oh, there's a metal pole over there. Slap and boom. Then you've got your own free point of view, I guess. So I picked up them both because sometimes I do enjoy the magnets and then sometimes. I need the other mounting system at the back. I wish this one had the mounting system as well, but with this one, you can unclip here, as you can see, and open the magnet up. And then if you've got like a, I don't know, like a strap or something, you can like strap it and then click it in, kind of, in a way at the side. Uh, or you can get one of them necklaces with the magnet on and clip it there, but you just be careful because if you do, maybe it might drop off. I don't think it will. It is a strong ass magnet, like a big beefy strong ass magnet. So it'll probably be all right. The other one from Sunny Life is just a cover. Now, if you've got a, a pocket and if you know the gimbal, sometimes it flex around sometimes, but this one does lock in, so I'm not gonna touch it. But just to be on the safe side, you get this little plastic cover. You can get silicon ones, but I prefer this one just because it's just easier. You pull up, so as you do, and then you literally, it also protects your screen as well. Pull up like that, and then wrap it around like that. Make sure it's on your screen, and then click. Boom. You've got a cover for your pocket. Simple. It's, it's literally that easy to put on and install so now your gimbal's not just gonna fly around anywhere or even if it mostly on the pocket pocket um three it won't anyway because it does lock in but just in case if you want to shove it in your pocket or something like that on the pocket two the kind of gimbal did flap around now and again but apart from that there you go another 
brilliant item just amazing a protective for the osmo pocket 3 it, i you can't go wrong with S sunny life sunny life sunny life yeah now this one is a different company and i took one of my ones back because i got a uh, neck mount so i wanted to do some different kind of view shots which we'll be doing today when, when i go outside um you'll see it in a bit um so it was a neck mount and i wanted to get a different one which I got from Telsin, Telesin, um, U-shape magnetic neck holder mount max. I don't know why the max is at the end. I don't, I don't get that. But this, the reason why I changed it, so the, the, they do have another one, which is cheaper, but this has got a quick release for the mag magnet. So I'll show you real quick because, you know, it's always good to show because why the hell not? So let me just get it. So it, it comes like this, yeah. So it looks like it's part. You quickly put that in there. You do have a button at the back to release it if you want to, when to put it on and take it off. But the main reason why I got it, right? So you can mount, um, you know, a screw there because you get loads of accessories with this as well. You get like multiple things like selfie mounting, or I could take this off and just have the, uh, the little thing there, but the thing that I got it for is because of this. So this bit is a magnet, right? Boom. And then to put it on, is literally on. That That's why I got it, so you can quick release it. So if I'm out, I've got this over my head, blah, blah, blah. Let's see if I can actually do this flawlessly, because sometimes I can't, I can't even pull, I can't even plug it in. There we go. So blah, 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 you know, it's viewing that way. And I want to quick release it, hold here, and boom. It'll be more easier when I put the pocket on. And then boom, and then turn it around, and now it's on me. And then put it back. Boom. That's why I got it. It's more of a quick release. You probably have to get used to it. It's, it's not, you're not going to get, oh, okay. Uh, you, you probably have to get used to where you're to hold it, and then boom. And then there. And then you've got it again. And then just put it back on. Sorted. It'll probably be like when you've got the camera on, it'll be probably more easier to turn it off that way. I think it's more... I think you can do it with one hand. Yeah, you can. So you don't need two hands, but sometimes you got to get them two hands on it. You know what I mean? That was weird, really weird. Why did I do that? But the magnet is strong as well. I wish it was just a pull in, pull out, but obviously there's a twist, so it's more locked. And then you could put like take this off and I'm not gonna do it all now. I'm gonna set it up in a bit. And say if I wanted it the screen this way, I can put it like that. So then I can see what he's viewing in front of me, which I kind of want want it like that. And yeah, it's gonna be in my face, but hey, it's, I can still see over it, you know. But that's the thing that I I want, and I'm looking forward to do that in a bit. But yeah, there you go. There are some accessories to get. Definitely get most of these because, like I say, these are kind of really good. Honestly, these are good. And I'm going to be using this when I go outside. So we'll talk a bit more um, when we're out and about. But yeah, definitely get these because you never know when you need them. Now, you should be able to hear me. Hi, Jenny. I don't know if you can see the cat. Uh, but yeah, you should be able to hear me. I've got it in front of me, as you can see. Um, kind of like a third-person view. It is hurting a bit on my chest, but it's probably because I put my coat over it, so I might have to change it. But at the minute, it's not too bad. I've got it on the uh, screw um, mount instead of the other mount. So I might change it. But as you can see, you can see my hands. I'm hands-free. Um, holding the microphone to be honest, so not hands free. I could stick the microphone somewhere on me, but I mean, I'm just hold, holding it because um, I don't know where to put it. But how does it look to compare to normally if you want to be hands free? To be honest, when if I'm walking around like this, people are going to be like, What the fuck's that sticking out my chest? Because it's like, as you know, the Pocket 3 is very long and thick. Um, but yeah, you can't see. I don't know if there's a mirror anywhere where I can kind of show what I look like. I don't think I have a mirror outside. I can guess I can kind of show you in the glass. If you can kind of see it. Um, but yeah, it's like sticking out here, like towards my mouth. 
So I guess it's good, but I guess I wouldn't have it at this level because it's a bit weird. I'll probably have it down. So I'm going to change it in a sec and see how that goes. It's very windy. And I've got it on um, just the normal, like where it just follows me slowly when I move. So it's not too bad to be honest, but I think I'm going to change it to have it on a different mount and put it over my coat instead of uh, under my coat because I think because it's under my coat it's a bit weird but as you can see I'm just walking around um, doing normally I'm, I'm going a normal type of walking speed that I normally go so I don't know what it looks like if it's bouncy or something but because it's on a gimbal it might be not look too bad to be honest so just going back and forth best way to test it but I don't know if I like it this high, you know what I mean? I think if I have it a different way, then it'll probably be better. But yeah, let's change it over and see what it looks like when I've changed it all over and put my microphone somewhere where I don't have to hold it. So let's do that, rechange it and see what it's like. So you should be able to see me fine and um, I've got the camera kind of hooked on. I forgot to mention on this Sunny Life uh, bracket that goes around it like the case a little case it's got a hot shoe mount on the side so I've got my microphone on that side um, it's not like proper on but it's there um, but yeah I've changed the mount on the back of it so it's just like the normal one so what we're gonna do now is actually connect it to this and see how that goes hopefully the microphone doesn't break off um, I might have to hold the microphone again I've got nowhere to put it unfortunately that, that might be a thing that I might have to get in the future, a place to put a microphone. I was going to equip it to my beanie, but then my beanie was going down, so it didn't work out, unfortunately. But let's see how this goes, and it should just hook on quite easy. The only problem is, I'm not going to be able to see the camera. So then, click down, and it's on. Now, the only problem is, I've got to double-click the thing to put it in centre. And hopefully you can still hear me from the microphone that's connected to a hot shoe mount, which is actually cool that it's, there's a hot shoe mount. I'm hands free. Like I say, I don't know if you can see me or, well, not, obviously you can't see me, but I don't know. I can't see the uh, monitor, the screen, because obviously it's in front of me. That's the only thing about this uh, setup you can't actually see. Um, I can't see what you're seeing in the screen. Technically, I can see what you're seeing in the screen because obviously I'm looking at it. But either way, you, you kind of get the, what I mean. It's turned the opposite way because it is what it is. But hopefully you guys can see all right. You can see my hands. I don't know. There's a lot of leaves on the ground. I also don't know how it sees when I go down. I don't know much. I can always recenter it if I wanted to by double clicking the joystick. Boom, recentered. But apart from that, you can now see me walking around in kind of like a first person. And the microphone's literally down here. So hopefully it sounds all right. I don't know what my parents are doing with this little patch here. I don't know if you can see this patch down here. Uh, if I just click like that, maybe you can see it. Or maybe if I just go to the joystick, go down. Like I say, it's all trial and error. I'm guessing the putting more flowers, you know, garden patch. But like the garden's got so much flowers in, so that's great. <laughs> I like the run up here as well, but now they put this in the middle. Now I've got to jump over it. This is great. Why in the center of all the things of the three lanes? I don't know. But yeah, like I say, let me know what you guys think uh, down below. If you think it's good and bad. Oh, we haven't been down here for quite a while. As you can guys can tell, I, I don't come out in my garden quite often. Um, I need to come out in the garden more often than usual. That's why I get these items to test them, then I can come out. And also, there's a lot of people that look at you on the uh, caravan site. Uh, but yeah. Damn. A lot of water in here. There's ducks somewhere, I can hear them. Somewhere they are. There we go, there's one. Flying away. 
your mother trucker. But yeah, like I said, I, I kind of like the first person view. I'm going to obviously check the footage and get back to you. And I've also got another tech item that I want to do a review on as well um, that I bought, but I'm not going to do it today. I could do it today, to be honest. It's not that actually bad of weather, but I might do it tomorrow. But stay tuned for that. I don't know when these will be up, loaded and edited and all that, but just stay tuned to the channel and you'll see, you'll see them, of you, of course. So yeah, let me know what you guys think of these accessories for the Pocket uh, 3. Like I say, I'm not an in-depth tech review expert there's probably better people on the internet than me i just say my honest truths and nothing but that and yeah they're good little accessories if you do use the dji pocket 3 a lot more often than probably me then these accessories will be very helpful like protect the gimbal long lasting life more um this little thing to mount it a first person view if you want to do first person views there's obviously better mounting systems. Um, there's that mag magnetic one that I showed you for, from Sunny Life where you can magnet it to uh, anything that you want it to. And different types of things as well. And then say when I'm done, you know, doing this, I can, I don't know how this is gonna go. I need to try and get it off. Oh, why don't you turn around? Did I hit it? There we go. I think I hit it. I touched the screen. Now this is going to be a hard bit. So I'm going to take the microphone off because I don't want to knock it off because it's not thing. So then I think the hardest bit is going to actually be taking it off the quick mount system. So this is obviously a true review right now because I don't know how I'm going to do this. So I've got to pick it, but then you're going to, you're going to press the buttons. Let's see. There we go. Turn. And then pull out. And then back to me. Okay, so review on that real quick. It's not bad, but it's quite annoying getting it off. Getting it in is the easiest part, but taking it off, maybe in the version 3 of it, or whatever version it, this is, you could probably just make, put like a button there where you can hit the button and it just comes off. You can grab that button and you know, you know what I mean? But twisting it, I think is a bit of an awkward, especially when you've got a device like this with touch screen and buttons. It's a little bit more awkward than usual. But anyway, I'm going to go back in because it's starting raining. And yeah, I'll see you guys when I'm back in there. So see you in a bit. Bye. So I'm back. Inside, obviously, I uh, used the Pocket 3. Outside, I've took all the equipment off for it for now. But I found a few issues with some stuff. I still think the great accessories and the issues are minor, really, than anything. Than, like, I've just recorded that whole video of first-person view, kind of. Um, but the minor. So, the first one is, obviously, um, this. Is... The magnetic thing and taking it apart, twisting it, is a quite awkward on a big beefy thing like this. Obviously, I've got to be more careful. Maybe I can just hold it at the bottom here instead of touching this touch screen. But remember, I'm doing it like this, so I've got to turn it like that. It, I will get used to it when I'm using it. So that's a little bit, that, that's, that's a minor necessary. I could probably figure out a way to get it off quite easier than usual. And then the other thing that I literally just found out, and again, it's a minor issue, but when you put this on, this case from Sunny Life, the hole to the Type C doesn't match the hole to the extension thing, as you can see there. So let me put it on real quick. And if it matches right now, I'm gonna be, I'm just gonna be gobsmacked. I'm gonna be like, how? Because I tried to connect it to my PC and I had to take the whole case off. Um, so let me just quickly put it on and then we'll go from there. And I'll show you what I kind of mean from all that uh, jazz. Um, so as you can see, it's on, right? Everything's fine. It looks cool. Uh, this can turn. So it comes on. Sorted. Turn it back off. But... Like I say, 
the hole at the back does not match where the type C is, which I don't know if it's a design flaw or something, or it wasn't meant to do that. I, I don't know. Or did someone just print me it wrong from Sunny Life? Because it's meant to be up here a bit more. I can probably Dremel it up here. So like shave some off. But if you can see when I take it off, uh, which side is it? This side. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. But when I take it off and pull this off, if I can, because I kind of want to show you where it actually is. It is kind of like a little bit further. So if this lines up here, the hole's quite down. So, yeah, I don't know uh, about that issue. But apart from that, if I didn't have the um, sorry, if I didn't have the uh, the this thing on, so if I can take the battery pack off, it would be at the bottom, as you can see. So I guess it's good if you don't have the battery thing. But if you want the battery thing, you're gonna have a problem with um, putting it up there. But either way, I don't know. It's a minor again. This is quite easy to take off and put on again, so it's not a big deal. But I always record with the uh, battery on. I've always done it. It's just to give me more battery life when I'm out. I guess I could not have the battery on for a few videos and then see how that goes. But apart from that, these accessories are great, especially this one as well. I know it's like a little bit of plastic, but if I want to keep my uh, Pocket 3 perfectly the gimbal perfectly fine when i'm just storing it somewhere it works perfectly and we'll probably use this one in a video i didn't use it in this this video today but the magnetic one the matin magnetic case is probably a lot easier because it's a quite smaller and you can get to the type c on this one than this one because this is quite bigger but i could probably now i'm going to probably just do some diy i'm going to dremel this hole a bit up here a bit more because to be honest, this hole here, like that could be a lot bigger. There is like a, some rubber thing there, but I can probably Dremel a lot more. If you don't know what I mean by Dremel, basically I'm going to shave some of the plastic off either way. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm going to try some different mounts as well on this because obviously I can change it. And there's loads more different types. There's this one down here uh, where I can have like a bit more of a like U-shape kind of. I don't know how that will go, but... It will do something, I guess. I can have it as side. Yeah, it's going to be trial and error. I'm going to test some other things on other videos. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you going to get these accessories? I will put the names down below in the description. Obviously, I don't have affiliate links. I'm not sponsored. I'm not anything. I bought all these with my own money. So this is my own uh, honest review. There's um, some minor things. And that is pretty much it. If you can get over the minor things, you're pretty much fine. Uh, but yeah, thank you, T-Bags. And please subscribe if you want to see more. And I will see you next time in whatever video I do on the Osmo Pocket 3 or any other tech stuff. And gaming, of course, because I do play games a lot on my channel. So check if you're into, the, into all them. Check my channel down below. Check all the playlists and all that glorious stuff. And I'll see you next time on whatever video I do. Bye for now.